hey, 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 Skirt the Boat Doctor down here at the big boom and burn course community site down in California Street. They've got big gym and big ultra state, ultra cavy. Anyway, uh, 2021, this is my getting me my number one favorite boat. You talk about something that can cut through some water, you'll make it out to tuna ground and nothing flat. Uh, with this, this is a recommended 300 horsepower. That's what we got on twin 150s. One one of these should plane this boat just fine. I'll show you the motors here in a second. Got the sliding windows. You got like 360 degree visibility. You can see this like a turbo. You got your grab rails. You can sit right there. You got good visibility out the sides, the back. The little windows so you can open up. You don't get drenched. You get a lot of wind coming in. Forward and leaning windshield. You got the Garmin uh, Phantom dual range radar. Awesome. Garmin's getting to be, they're one of the best. I mean, they're, I really like them. The, they're autopilots, I think one of the best autopilots out. Uh, they got a lot more, they got like auto guidance on that. So I'll hit auto guidance and it'll say navigate, navigate to, boom, done. Nobody else has that. And they're just, they're easy for the customer. But Garmin, think about it. They're using airplanes, all high tech. They're the bomb. Uh, I suggest them, I like them. They're all, you know, they're all good. Simrad's good. Uh, Ray's good, but I'm a big Garmin fan. You got your back, your LED lights out the side, the LED bar, LED bar out the front. Uh, you got your anchor nest, and this is kind of nice too. This tilts down. That means a lot because if they just come straight out like that, <clears throat> then they, you sometimes have to help them to get them out. Now, I had a guy the other day, a big boat, 27, 28 foot, and he says, well, can this hold 600 foot of rope? And I said, uh, no, maybe 150, 200. This one's on a spool. Uh, if you do it right with the chain and you can use cable or rope, you can get to about 300 plus on this one without tangling up. So these spool type winches are dynamite. Okay, and this is the plow anchor. These are dynamite too. They dig in, they hold. Uh, then you got these uh, preflex bands. This your rub rail, and we're going to take all this tape off. We cut these here for a reason. So if they go like here, it can pull apart. So that's why we uh, release the pressure. Uh, then you got rub rail here. You got band, band. The more bands, the stronger the boat is. And if you look up underneath, you got a reverse, a reverse, and a heavy reverse all the way down. And it kind of goes at an angle and kicks back. If you can see that, it goes like this and then goes like this. That's what pops this boat up so fast. It's probably two and a half second planing boat. Uh, like I say, I probably can plane it with one motor. You got four by four bunks with slicks here. That's good. This keel roller, like I say, if you look at it, it's working fine. Uh, you don't want it to rest on that. You can a little bit, but not much. That's not meant for that. This is meant to rest on this and those bumps. That's just if you submerge it so you don't hit the cross member. Spare tire carrier. Like I say, it's a 100 gallon tank. It's 30 feet to actual length from tip of trailer to the back of the motors. It's a 25 foot boat in theory. Uh, you got a 19, I think it's an 18 or 19 degree hole in this, uh, strakes, lifting strakes that keeps this boat straight. Plus they call them lifting, it helps you lift. But this aero design that goes like this in the front and in the back, I'll show you that make this boat will, I can get it without running the controls with duels. Just put one motor in gear and turn and turn the wheel. This sucker will just spin on a dime. So these are real great for the ocean. If it gets rough, you need to make a fast turn. This is the bomb right here. You got the top mount coupler, two and five sixteen cents ball. You got the stand, the flat flip. I like those. The key lock right there. You put in there. Uh, you got the foot jack. I like the foot jack. You don't have to worry about the windows or the wheels uh, bending on you, breaking on you. And if you forget to block the tires, it probably ain't going anywhere. If it's on a semi-flat area. I added brake fluid to this. Uh, these here, when you're on the water, you're gonna hear that rattle. What's that rattle? That's the uh, you can get bigger uh, carabiners that are real heavy duty that slides in and you can just hook the hook here. This is for your safety chain. Double dip galvanized heavy duty trailer, load guides, uh, tandems, a uh, good seven feet long, gear bath oil hubs, brown good, white bad. Here's your fill right there. You want to make sure this trailer is perfectly level. If those are low, you want about three quarters, half is fine. Um, when you, it's just like 90 weight gear, uh, gear oil is what it is. But if they're low, you fill them. You want to just go maybe three quarters, walk away for 15 minutes, come back. If it goes down, just fill it three quarters again, come back. Don't just fill it and then fill it because then you're going to overfill it. So you want to, then you'd want to drain it. Got six lugs. That's good. That's heavier duty uh, uh, towing capacity. When you go to the six lug, probably 80, 100 pound, pound 
torque on the lug nuts, probably 60 pounds on the tire pressure. ST225 75R15s. Uh, dive ladder, heavy build, Lenco tabs. There's your drain plugs in the back. You got the UHD transducer, uh, pair of 150 Yamaha. These are bulletproof. I mean, they sell a lot of these, never have any issues. You got a left hand turn. When it cups like this, it's left. When it cups like that, it's a right hand turn. That's how you can normally tell they used to have a L right here, but now it just says it on the motor right here. LF, but if that tag was gone, you'd have to spin the prop to see if it in forward which way it spins. Okay, there's your oil drain right there. They're both the same latches, latches, mid exhaust, oil drain. Uh, this here is how you uh, do the torque fin. That's uh, cr uh, what do you what do you call it? zinc? But you don't really need these anymore. These are this is a 15 by 15. These are good. The salt water or these are the Reliance uh, Yamaha props. It's 15 by 15. They're really good. You get into the bigger gear case, then I can do the salt water too Yamaha. But this is fine for this boat. Uh, you got your rear entry there, and then there is uh, I'll show you the doors on the inside. You got a 99 with a prop guard here, 11 by 7. Uh, these got two coats of clear, two coats of primer, stainless prop shaft, drive shaft, special paint on the outside, so for paint fade. And uh, so you'll notice Yamaha, you don't see a lot of paint missing off their lower gear cases. That's because of their paint process. And this has got the cable steer right here instead of the bar. So you don't have to worry about that bar rusting, the pin falling off, your tie bar falling in the water. And this is the other end coming out. So if you ever want to just steer it manually, you can just pop that off and uh, run it manually but that ain't a tiller that's a remote motor reverse heavy duty and this is that arrow design again in the back how it cuts back like this you can spin this thing you got a ton of reverse power in this thing if you got a flat back they're going to push like a bread truck and you're going to have water coming over the back i'll show you that when i'm out there electric crab grab it two speakers you got your rear deck light side light this is your diesel fan right here this is your sink drain right here um, so then we can actually, I'll see how much time I got on here. Yeah, seven, so I might as well go on the inside, show you that. And then the, I'll make two more videos, one on the running and how everything works. Then I'll do another one just on the electronics. And they need to clean up the inside in here. Might as well prime the system. There's your primer bulbs. There's your pin to rotate this, to hit this. Oh, I got the power off. So you run it right here. Don't run it on the yellow unless you're getting weak. Then it takes it from all batteries so you can fire it up. Relay there for your, um, oh, windless. There's your shut off for your worst down. If you get a leak, you can shut that off. You got a build pump down there. Heavy duty batteries in this sucker. Bait box in here. And I'll pump these up. Cup holder, tackle, hole holders. I put a gallon and a half of diesel that there you can lift up actually and it can make into a seat and then your pump for this fish box is in here if they have let me see yep there it is and you got this drain plug in here so you got to remember to always have that drain plug in because that goes right through the bottom of the hole you know you know so if not you'll have water all over inside the deck which then again you got bilge pump so it should pump it out and even if you didn't that sucker's still going to float so then crab dab it just run it wrap your rope under here and on here and just hand feed it in okay that's pitch box flip up seat and then this here pulls out to here so you can sit on it and look back like this or look ahead or just sit right here and you have two people this is your sink i added water to this so flip this up hit this right here turn the switch there you go and that shuts it but make sure you turn that one off that's the panel for the back back there and then this here slides out too i gotta get it but this slides out and this makes it bad and like i say you can sit right here look right out the side cup holders speakers and then you can flip this well, at least they made it tight and when these lights are on here then there's your cup holder here pretty cool huh put some stuff in there but at night, that light will shine on that ass. So those people over there, when they're looking at night at you, they see a bright red ass. Like I say, it's pretty cool. Just little things like that. So sliding windows I like. And this here slides 
there's some screws back here see how i can move that so he gives you some seating room up here and then this folds up just like this and there's your curtain that goes right here and then your anchor rollers up in there your spool you got a light up there that works paper to toilet holder there this switch right here that lets the water like when you do this pumps out and flushes it you turn it the other way and there's a valve in here that's open uh so if you discharge it it's going to come out this if you don't want it to you shut the valve you turn it this way like this if you want it to come out you go like this and then there's an overflow switch right there and that will automatically you can dump it out that way or you can actually when it gets to a certain point it'll come on and say hey it's your tank is full okay and you can lock these the hatches up there there's these little pins you push back on the very front where that it's rounded uh so you lock nobody can get in stereo light works vhf i'll show you all that stuff on the water yeah this is probably a 16 inch garment autopilot it's got a wireless remote right here 703 on your kicker dual controls mechanical 60 uh, gauge i put in like 60 gallons of non-ethanol trim tabs maxwell winch that works so you can just bring it right back up again these are your lights see how it goes on that bar these are your side lights which you can't see because there's nothing there but they do work uh sinks stove i'll show you the stove when i get out there 